Hi guys, this is Jeff at Slayton's Racing. This video is about how to uh, check the compression on any of the modern two-strokes with electric start. Now, I really kind of prefer not to use this method on the 08 through 16 models that have electric start uh, on the two-strokes because those electric starter systems were pretty mediocre when they were brand new and as they get age, they really can be bum become problematic. Uh, but 17 and newer two-stroke KTM models, and, and that's all the brands, KTM, Husky, and Gas Gas, um, you know, the newer models all have a much better, much more robust starting system, uh, electric starter and drive system. So for those, I have no problem with using the electric starter button. All right, now, just to make clear, this video is for two-strokes only. All right, so any of the modern four-strokes, uh, I don't know, in the last... 10 years or probably more, uh, they all have uh, a decompression device on the camshaft. It holds the valve par partially open uh, to lower the compression slightly to make it easier for the electric starter to start the motor. Um, and so on those models, you cannot do a, an actual compression test. You have to do what's called a leak down test. Totally different process. It looks kind of similar as far as gauges and stuff, but it's not. And so this only applies to the two strokes. All right, so first of all, you want to make sure you've got a good quality gauge. This one is a snap on, and you don't need to spend, you know, four or five hundred dollars on a snap on gauge, but you definitely don't want to go to Harbor Freight for uh, a compression gauge either. You know, you need to find something that's decent quality. We've got Motion Pro ones, and then uh, I think Bike Master ones on our website, and those both work well. Um, but you know, this is not a time to cheap out. Uh, if you want a, a good end result, a, you know, a good compression reading, then you need to have a good quality gauge. All right, so you can see I've got this hose here, and it's a 14 millimeter, has a three quarter reach thread on it, which is what the spark plug is. You know, this distance here is three quarters of an inch. And you can see my kit comes with several different ones different diameters and different lengths. And so if you put one like that, you know, I'm just showing you the, this one up here, all these, if the thread length is too short. And so you're going to have uh, some additional volume in the head if you would use one of those. And it's going to give you a false reading. So you want to use one that has, you know, the three-quarter length thread, threaded area on it. And they're a little bit tricky to screw in. You've got to kind of use your hand on one end and, and your other hand on this end and kind of bend it and get it started. All right, and then from there, okay, so I rigged it up here in the foot peg. I stuck it through there to so that you could see the gauge. And then from there, I'm just gonna push the push starter button and hold the throttle wide open at the same time. And then we'll, and then you just, Push the button until the gauge stops moving. There you can see I've got 200 pounds of compression. That's not the stock head insert, that's a TSP. And that's a really good number. Uh, 200 is where it gives you a lot of bottom end and mid-range, which is where most of us ride. All right, guys, it's really that simple. Screw in the gauge, make sure you have the correct length of threaded area on the gauge. Hold the throttle wide open, push the button, and there's your end result, 200 PSI. Um, so a stock 300 at sea level typically puts out around 165 PSI. Up here at uh, 6,000 feet, that's about 130. The 250s usually have a little more. They're usually up in the 180, 185 range. And uh, I can even, some of them, the SX models I think are, are around 200, but don't quote me on that because I haven't tested a 200, or a, a 250 SX for a long time. Anyhow, hope this helps you out a little bit. If you would, please like us on Instagram and Facebook and subscribe to us on YouTube and uh, get out for some throttle therapy, guys. That's all for now.